Stable Diffusion 3 Medium, or SD3 Medium, launched just a few days ago, and AI enthusiasts are creating amazing and mind-blowing images using it. I also tried SD3 and created some images like this portrait of a freckled redhead girl laughing in golden hour sunlight, this anime of a dramatic mecha versus kaiju battle in a futuristic Tokyo skyline, and this realistic image of a dewdrop covered spider web glistening in morning light. Not only this, but SD3 Medium also allows adding text to images, which can be used to create logos. However, many AI enthusiasts are facing two problems when trying to create mind-blowing images using SD3. Accessibility. To use SD3, we either need to install it on our computer locally or use it via Google Colab. Prompt optimization. To get great results from SD3, we need to provide effective prompts. For example, to create this image using SD3, I provided this prompt. But don't worry, in this video, I will tell you about the first free online AI tool that supports SD3, so you don't need to install it locally on your computer. I will also provide you with a prompt template to help you create prompts for SD3 image generation. Additionally, I have a surprise for you. I'll explain how you can earn up to $100 by just generating SD3 images. If you're excited about this, hit the like button to support me and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Now let's start. First, let's see what's unique about the Stable Diffusion 3 Medium model. Model size, SD3 Medium is a 2 billion parameter model. Overall quality and photorealism delivers exceptional detail color, and lighting, capable of photorealistic outputs and high-quality flexible styles, addresses common pitfalls like realism in hands and faces, uses innovations such as a 16-channel VAE. Prompt understanding, comprehends long and complex prompts, handles spatial reasoning, compositional elements, actions, and styles, utilizes three text encoders or combinations for performance efficiency trade-offs. Typography, achieves unprecedented text quality, fewer errors in spelling, kerning, letter forming, and spacing, leverages diffusion transformer architecture. Fine-tuning capabilities, can absorb nuanced details from small datasets, well-suited for customization. We can use SD3 Medium Online for free at Tensor.art. I must mention that TensorArt is the first platform to support SD3 and the only one to support the Hunyuan AI model. To access TensorArt, you have two options. First option, visit google.com and search for Tensor Art. Then, click on the first link in the search results. Second option, if you want to earn an extra 100 image credits, sign up using the link provided in the description. Once you click on this link, you'll reach the Tensor Art official website. Here, we need to sign up and log in. To do this, just click on the sign in button in the top right corner. Next, a modal will appear you'll see that Tensor.art provides 100 image credits daily. And as I mentioned, if you sign up using the link in the description, you'll get 100 extra credits. You'll see several sign-up options. For a hassle-free process, I recommend using the Continue with Google option to finish signing up. After successful sign-up, you'll be automatically logged in and taken to the Tensor.art dashboard. Before we move on to image generation, Let's look at the different available options. In the top right corner, you'll see a profile icon. Clicking it takes you to your profile page. To edit your profile, click on Edit Profile. To check your available credits, hover over the profile icon in the top right corner. You'll see that we have 100 available credits. There are also multiple options in the left sidebar. First, the model option. Clicking this takes you to a page with all available models for generating images. The SD3 model, which we'll use in this video, is here, along with several others you can explore. Next is the Post option. Clicking this shows you all posts by TensorArt users. If you like an image, simply click on it. You'll see a Remix option to generate images using the same settings as the original. We'll explore the Event option later in this video. Then there's the Article option. Clicking this shows you all articles about TensorArt updates and tutorials, which are really useful. Lastly, we have the Leaderboard option. Clicking this shows you the model's leaderboard. These rankings are based on the number of users who created images using these models. Similarly, there's the Creator's Leaderboard. Rankings here are based on the number of original models uploaded by each creator. Finally, 
we have the Posts Leaderboard. This ranking is calculated based on the total number of likes received from all posts made by each poster. Then we have different channels, each with posts related to its category. For example, in the Anime channel, we can see all the posts of the Anime category. Similarly, in the Portrait channel, we see all the posts from the Portrait category, and so on for all other channels. Now it's time to create our first image using the SD3 model. To do this, first click on the Create button. Here, we need to provide our prompt to generate the image. I've provided this simple prompt, a dewdrop covered spider web glistening in morning light. Next, we can provide a negative prompt. If you don't have a negative prompt, leave it as it is. Then we need to select our SD3 model. Just click on it and select Select to choose this model. We can change the aspect ratio here. Next is sample steps. Sampling steps refer to the number of iterations the AI uses to refine your prompt into an image. The higher the steps, the longer the generation process. The recommended range is 10 to 30. I prefer to use 25. Then we have the CFG scale. This controls how closely the generated image adheres to your prompt. A higher value results in images that closely match your prompt description, while a lower value leads to more varied images. The recommended range is 3 to 15. I'll go with 7. Next is the seed option. This plays an important role if you want consistent characters. If you want to generate a consistent character, enter a seed number. Otherwise, leave it blank for a random seed. Then, select the number of images you want to generate. I'm selecting 2. Once all settings are done, click the Generate button to create the image. This will take a few seconds, and here are our first two images. The image quality is good. If you want a better result, we have an Enhance option. Just click on Enhance, and it will generate an enhanced prompt. To revert to the original prompt, click the Undo option. For now, I'll continue with the enhanced prompt. Simply click the Generate button to create an image with this enhanced prompt. Let's wait a few seconds. And here's the result from the enhanced prompt. To get even better results, you can use a detailed customized prompt. I got all these results from customized prompts. This anime, this illustration of a whimsical treehouse. I've created a prompt generation template for you. Simply copy this template and let's go to claw.ai. Paste the prompt generation template here. Replace the image concept, then click the send button or hit enter. Claw.ai will generate an optimized prompt for us. Here's the prompt. We also have a negative prompt. Now let's copy the prompt and use it with TensorArt. Also, copy the negative prompt and paste it here. Then simply click the Generate button. In just a few seconds, our image will be generated using this optimized prompt. Isn't it mind-blowing? To get more optimized results, click on the Enhance option to enhance our customized prompt. Then click the Generate button. In just a few seconds, we have this result, which I think is refined. Before moving ahead, please hit the like button to support and encourage me. Also, subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. Here, you can clearly see the difference in results between a normal prompt and a detailed custom prompt. Now, if you want other users and creators to see your creation, you can post these images. To do so, click on the Post option in the top right corner. To post your images, select all the ones you want to share. Then click the Next button in the bottom right corner. Now enter a caption for these images. Next, select the relevant channel. As these are realistic type images, I'm selecting realistic. Then choose the relevant tags. Finally, click the Publish button to post. Now this post is visible to every creator and user on the platform. If you want to see all your created images, simply hover your mouse over the Create button and click on the Creation option. Here, you'll see all your created images. To view all your posts, click on the profile icon in the top right corner. You'll see all your posts here. Notice the notification icon. Hover on this icon to see notifications about new comments on your posts, likes on your posts in favorite, 
and new followers. You'll also see messages from tensor.art here. Right now, we have a notification in favorite, which means someone liked our post. Let's click on it and check. You can see this user liked our post. Now let's learn how we can earn up to 100 USD by creating images. You'll see an events option in the left sidebar. Click on it. Here you'll find all the events hosted by tensor.art. Currently, there's an event called SD3 Image Battle. If you participate in this event, you can earn up to $100. Let's click on it to learn more about the SD3 Image Battle by TensorArt. Here are some key highlights of this SD3 Image Battle. The event will be mainly held in TensorArt's Discord server. We need to create images and post them to TensorArt's Discord server. The top 10 posts with the highest number of Discord replies will win $100 each. Staff picked top 10 best prompts will win $50 each. Top 30 images with the most heart reactions will win $30 each. Staff picked top 30 best images will win $50 each. As a special bonus, everyone who uses the SD3 base model to generate images during the event will receive an additional 100 cumulative credits. Importantly, it's not necessary to post only SD3 images generated using tensor.art. You can also participate if you generated SD3 images locally. Make sure to review and follow the event rules as well. To access the Tensor Arts Discord server, simply click on the Discord icon. The link for this Discord icon is also provided in the video description. You'll see an invite from Tensor Art. Click on Accept Invite. You'll then be asked, what brings you here? Choose an option. I'm going with I am an enthusiast. Click the next button. If you're eager to earn more credits through events, click yes. Click the next button again. If you want to get the latest updates about what's happening on TensorArt social media, click yes. Otherwise, you can skip this and click the finish button. You'll then reach TensorArt's Discord server. First, introduce yourself. Click on introduce yourself here. Say hello to the community. Click on the next arrow icon. Next, it asks, how do you know TensorArt? If you're visiting after watching this video, simply enter Zapiwala YouTube. Click on the next arrow icon again. Then post your first image to showcase your work to other community members. Click the plus icon, then click upload a file and upload your image. Enter the image title. And you can also provide the image prompt here. Hit enter to upload it. Click on the next arrow icon again. Here you'll see the daily selected images. To participate in the SD3 image battle, click on the announcement channel. You'll see a separate channel for SD3 image battle. Click on it. To add this channel, simply click on add to channel list. You'll see this channel has been added. Whenever you want to access the SD3 Image Battle channel in the future, you can find it here. Now, let's participate in the SD3 Image Battle by posting our first SD3 image. Simply click on New Post. Click on the Upload Image icon and upload your image. Enter the image title here. Next, enter the prompt used for this image. If you used any negative prompt to generate this image, enter that here too. Select relevant tags from the options provided. Click the post button to share your first image. Now, let other community members engage with this post. More engagement means a better chance to win the battle. Let's go back to the TensorArt website. There's another way to create SD3 images, known as the Remix option, instead of clicking the Create button. To use the Remix option, click on Models in the left sidebar. Select the SD3 model from here. You'll see this page. Scroll down and you'll see all the SD3 images. Select an image you like and want to create a similar version of. You'll see a Remix option. Click on it. Here you'll find the prompt. Make your desired changes to the prompt and click the Generate button your SD3 image will be created using the same settings as shown here. So, hurry up and sign up to TensorArt using the link provided in the description to get an additional 100 credits and enjoy creating SD3 images.
Also, participate in the SD3 image battle for a chance to win $100 cash. That's it for this video.